Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at white nails or leukonychia, which is a fairly common occurrence. It's usually not an alarming sign, but can sometimes be a manifestation of an underlying systemic disorder or congenital condition. Let's look at the reasons why we get it, the clinical manifestations and the management. Most of the information is from a review article in the American Journal of Clinical Dermatology published just a couple of months ago. The other name for white nails is leukonychia. There are various types of white nails including punctate, transfers, longitudinal and total leukonychia. Punctate leukonychia looks like white spots. Transfers leukonychia appears as a transfers white mark. Longitudinal leukonychia as a longitudinal white line. And partial or total leukonychia makes the entire nail appear white. Leukonychia of all types results from defective keratinization of the nail matrix with persistence of keratotic cells in the nail plate. The nail has opaque white patches or striae that do not change upon application of pressure and moves distally as the nails grow. Besides the morphological classification, leukonychia can be divided into anatomical types as well. True leukonychia is due to problems with the nail matrix and plate while pseudo-leukonychia is due to whiteness of the superficial nail plate alone. Punctate true leukonychia is probably the most common clinical presentation of leukonychia, especially in children. The pattern and number of spots may change as the nail grows. It is not related to reduced calcium or iron content of the nail plate, as popularly believed. Usually, it's due to trauma, as seen here, but it can also be due to inflammatory diseases such as alopecia areata or psoriasis. It can also occur with zinc deficiency. Pseudo-leukonychia often presents as punctate leukonychia and typical causes are superficial white onychomycosis, and here is an example, and nail fragility due to nail cosmetics as seen here. Artificial nails and frequent use of nail polish removers damage the superficial layers of the nail plate, causing dehydration of the nail keratins that clinically appears as fine and scaly white spots. Transverse leukonychia is again mainly due to trauma as seen here. When only the fingernails are affected, manicure mistakes are possible culprits. When the toenails are affected, bands may result from pressure on the free edge of the nail plate that are not trimmed properly. There are other causes including medications, infection and internal conditions like kidney and heart conditions. When both the finger and the toenails are affected, a systemic cause should be ruled out. Rarely, toxic substances such as thallium and arsenic can cause the same problem as can chemotherapeutic agent. Pale, transfers 1-2 to two millimeter white bands of true leukonychia appearing in proximal parts of the nail plate and running parallel to the lunula in patients experiencing arsenic poisoning is called knees lines. Systemic conditions like lupus, chronic kidney disease and heart conditions can also cause it. This was first described by Merkey when it was associated with low albumin levels and hence it's called Merkey's nails. Merkey's lines typically appear as a couple of transfers white bands that run parallel to the lunula across the entire width of the nail. This is a typical example of this condition. Longitudinal true leukonychia is caused by alterations of small sections of the matrix. Genetic conditions like Darius disease, Haley Haley and tuberous sclerosis may manifest it. Other nail disorders presenting with true linear leukonychia include benign nail lesions like onychometricoma as seen here and nail matrix like in planus. A longitudinal band in the great toenail has been associated with chronic trauma and due to deviated toenails as well. Longitudinal pseudoleukonychia can be caused by fungal infections. The infection can be recognized as an irregular, dense longitudinal white or yellowish bands. Partial or true leukonychia can be idiopathic or inherited. The nails are typically milky, chalky or porcelain white. Hereditary leukonychia may exist as an isolated feature or an association with other cutaneous and systemic pathologies. The acquired form of partial or total leukonychia, however, is significantly more common and can be associated with several comorbidities such as drugs, anemia, wet work, selenium deficiency and heart conditions. Neuropathic disorders such as reflex sympathetic dystrophy and autonomic abnormalities or vascular diseases can also be responsible. Half and half nails, also known as Lindsay's nails, are characterized by a sharply demarcated red, pink or brown discoloration of the distal 20 to 60 percent of the nail, re resulting in two colored nails with a transverse border. The proximal nail has a whitish ground glass-like appearance, obscuring the lunula, and all nails are usually involved. 
half and half nails are detected in approximately 10 to 30 percent of patients with chronic renal disease. Terry's nails are characterized by subtotal apparent leukonychia with a reddish or brown distal band of less than 20 percent. Terry found these nail changes with liver cirrhosis but other underlying medical conditions can also cause it. The diagnosis of leukonychia is mainly clinical but some laboratory procedures may be useful in a minority of cases. In pseudo leukonychia, culture of superficial scrapings may be helpful to confirm a fungal infection. Blood tests may be useful if there is widespread leukonychia to rule out kidney, liver and other systemic diseases. Nail clipping should be considered in the rare cases of unexplainable mese lines to detect arsenic. But when tumours like onychometricoma are suspected, a biopsy may be required. Management of leukonychia fully depends on the underlying disorder. Treatment of acquired leukonychia is directed at eliminating the underlying cause. In most cases of punctate true leukonychia, this is just gentle nail care. Avoid manipulating the cuticles, limit the application of irritant and allergic grooming products such as nail polish, removers, artificial nails and nail glue. The frequent application of moisturizers may also be beneficial. Trauma is a frequent cause of transverse and punctate true leukonychia and should be avoided. Most nail injuries just need time to heal. As the nail grows, the damage will move up with the nail plate. Over time, the white spots will disappear completely. In pseudo leukonychia due to fungi, antimycotic therapy may be indicated. Zinc or biotin supplementation is sometimes helpful. Referral to other specialists may be essential for patients with underlying systemic disorders. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.